GISBH members invited to join the National Security Council's Voluntary Rehabilitation Program want to know whether they will be paid for their attendance. This is according to lawyer Rosley Kamarudin, who is representing GISBH. He said the members had already lost their livelihoods after their businesses were shut down and assets seized and are thus worried about making ends meet. Free Malaysia Today quoted Rosley as asking how they will provide for their families if they join this three-month program, whether the government will provide them with allowances, and if yes, how much. He also pointed out that the details of the program remain unclear. Besides monetary concerns, Rosley said many members are hesitant to join the program without the blessing of their senior leaders who were detained. Earlier this week, Bernama reported that the NSC announced it had created a voluntary rehabilitation program for GISBH members, aiming to help them return to the true teachings of Islam and reintegrate into society. According to NSC Deputy Director General Baharuddin Ahmad, the program will focus on correcting religious beliefs, offering Sharia teachings, promoting patriotism, and providing counseling on education and health.